The Penn American Center Gala is an event that's part of a week-long World Voices Festival, and it's a celebration of artistic achievement and free expression. And they decided to honor uh, Charlie Hebdo and give them uh, an award this year. So for those of you who don't remember, uh, Charlie Hebdo is the French magazine where 12 people were murdered in a terrorist attack because they made fun of Muhammad. Well, five or six of the 60 writers and hosts uh, who were scheduled to take part in this uh, Pan American Center gala, they pulled out. They withdrew from the event in protest because Charlie Hebdo is getting honored. So the Penn president uh, responded to the protesters and said the following. I think what he said is really intelligent. He said, quote, Based on Charlie Hebdo's own statements, we believe that their intent was not to ostracize or insult Muslims, but rather to reject forcefully the efforts of a small minority to place broad categories of speech off limits, no matter what the purpose, intent, or import of the expression. We do not believe that any of us must endorse the contents of Charlie Hebdo's cartoons in order to affirm the principles for which they stand or applaud the staff's bra bravery in holding fast to those values in the face of life and death threats. Yeah, look, man, I agree with that 100%. And my response to these people who are pulling out is a very simple response. I would simply say to them that moderate Muslims are not are not angry at Charlie Hebdo. They're just not. I remember in the wake of this situation, uh, one of the people who follows uh, Secular Talk, one of my listeners, who happens to be Muslim, sent me a great speech from a, a Muslim preacher in a, a mosque talking about the situation with Charlie Hebdo. And the preacher was spot on and basically said, look, if you're a good Muslim, you don't care when other people insult the prophet. It means nothing to you. You just move on with your life and ignore it. It's irrelevant to you. If you're a good Muslim and you see somebody doing that, shouldn't matter to you one way or another. Because you know what your principles are, you know what your values are, you know what you believe and what you stand for, and you know you're a good person, so somebody else wants to say anything. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. So moderate Muslims are not angry about uh, what Charlie Hebdo did. Moderate Muslims are angry that people were murdered and they were murdered by a group of idiots being fundamentalists in their religion and misrepresenting them. So it's not, you're not, in order, if you're protesting, what you're actually doing is you're very condescending to the Muslim community. Because you're saying to them, you need us to stand up for you and to try to censor people that disagree with you. But that's ridiculous. Now imagine, just flip the script for a second and imagine that this was, um, a group that made fun of Jesus in, in a controversial way. So, whatever, Jesus having sex with somebody, I don't know, fucking an animal, whatever. Make, they make fun of Jesus in a way that some people may find offensive. And so, you know what happens? The Sovereign Citizens, which is a Christian terrorist organization, or even, let's say, the KKK, they kill the people at a magazine who made fun of Jesus because they think, Yar, how dare you insult our God! This is our God! This isn't free speech, it's our God! Do you think that these writers would pull out and say, you insulted Jesus and I'm standing up for all the other Christians? Would they do that? Or would they say, look, let's just unite against this, the radical violence of the KKK or sovereign citizens and let everybody know that it doesn't matter what is said, you don't get to kill anybody in response. So let's all just stand up for the principle of freedom of speech. How would they respond in that scenario if it was the KKK that killed somebody? Or if it was a sovereign citizen that killed somebody because they're angry because somebody made fun of Jesus. I think they'd be on, they would be on the right side if that happened. But it, we've, you've fallen into this culture of oversensitivity. Where you think that like moderate Muslims are outraged by Charlie Hebdo, Hebdo. No, they're outraged by the people who killed the people at Charlie Hebdo. So I think they have this issue totally backwards. Again, you don't have to support the content of what they did to support the principle that they're allowed to do it. But God, I'm, I'm sorry, but the response of pulling out of this in protest, I honestly think the people who do it are not that bright. They haven't thought about this issue, they don't know about the deeper underlying issue, and they're just playing this game where they're trying to win political brownie points 
But guess what? You're not going to get political brownie points because all the intelligent people are on the other side of the issue.